Good morning everybody, this is Stephen Pugh of the Home Bible College. It's August the 30th and we're looking at the passage that we began yesterday which is Galatians chapter 1 but we're beginning today at verse 11. My password is from the first verse. Often my password is from the first verse and that's because at the beginning of a paragraph usually we have the key thought brought over and that's the case here too he says but i certify brethren that the gospel which i preached that sorry the gospel which was preached of me is not after man got that the gospel which was preached of me was not after man i didn't receive it from men I wasn't taught it by any man. He says it came to me by revelation of Jesus Christ. He says you know what sort of life I had in the Jew Jewish religion. How that beyond measure, way beyond what was normal, I persecuted the church of God and wasted it. And I profited in Judaism far above all my equals in the nation and being exceedingly zealous of the traditions of my fathers but when it when it pleased god who separated me from my mother's womb and called me by his grace to reveal his son in me that i might preach him among the heathen immediately i conferred not with flesh and blood i didn't go up to jerusalem to those that were apostles before me but I went into Arabia and then returned again to Damascus. Then after three years I went up to Jerusalem to see Peter and stayed with him for 15 days. And other of the apostles, I didn't see any of them except for James the Lord's brother. Now the things that I write to you, before God I lie not. And then afterwards I came into the regions of Syria and Cilicia and was unknown by face unto the churches of Judea which were in Christ. But they had heard only that he which persecuted us in times past now preaches the faith which once he sought to destroy. And they glorified God in me. And so this is Paul's testimony. When Paul is starting to teach in his letter to the churches of Galatia he begins with this point in the last passage he says okay I'm an apostle of Jesus Christ and not of man so his position as an apostle was that he was called of God he wasn't called by the other apostles to join them he was called of God he was recognized by the other apostles of course but he was called of God to be an apostle of Jesus Christ. Now in this passage he explains that just in the same way that he was called of God it was absolutely a unique calling from God alone to him. His gospel that he preached also was of the same character. He didn't come from Peter and from the other apostles. This is why when we go into the epistle of James we go into first and second and second uh, Peter, we go into the book of Hebrews and we go into other passages, we, and James, we discover that Paul's teaching is quite different. It's quite different because he has received his teaching directly from the Lord Jesus and it's what we call today the teachings of grace. It is church truth and what we mean by the church there is the church which is the body of Christ it is the body of Christ teaching he didn't receive it from the apostles he received it not from the gospels you see it came directly by revelation of Jesus Christ just as John the Apostle received his book of revelation from the Lord directly so Paul receives his uh, teaching directly from the Lord Jesus so 
So this is quite interesting. We, can, we have a body of teaching in the New Testament. These epistles of Paul, they're not based on the Gospels. They're not even based on the teaching of those that were apostles before him. They are a direct revelation from God to Paul. And he received them, no doubt, during those three years in which he was in Arabia. Perhaps the Lord, perhaps the Lord led him all the way to Sinai, there to see the mountain and to receive these wonderful revelations from God. One of the things I want to say before I leave this passage today the great men of God of scripture always emerge from the wilderness David he came from the wilderness um, John the Baptist he came from the wilderness many of the prophets emerged from the wilderness and they suddenly appear on the scene as God's man the wilderness is symbolic of um, lack of communication with men and of total devoted communication with God um, where did Moses emerge from he, mer he emerged from the wilderness of Midian and so all the great men of God they come from a, a deep deep experience of God they come out of obscurity they come out of obscurity fully formed in their ministry they have been taught of God and they're ready to serve him and that was the same with the Apostle Paul three years in the desert in the deserts of Midian he learnt the revelations that he brings to us in his epistle so God bless you Look forward to speaking to you all again tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. Bye for now.